up? Welcome to the vlog. Before we get started, I want to say thank you so much to Abercrombie & Fitch for sponsoring this video. I am so, so excited to be working with them. Uh, if you guys watch a lot of my vlogs, I'm literally wearing one of my favorite sweatshirts right now, and I bought this from Abercrombie. I think I got this on Black Friday. I forget exactly when, but I got it on sale, and I love their pieces so, so much. I wear their stuff all the time. We'll do like a full haul later on in the video, but you guys, it's amazing, and I'm so excited to work with them because their rebrand was the rebrand of the century. Oh yes, for now. Also, sorry, my blue light glasses are like very reflective. I can't see, but I guess I'll just take them off for you guys. Hello, so it is currently Saturday afternoon and today has not gone as planned and I'm very sad about it. If you guys missed the last vlog, okay, hold on, I'm actually getting dizzy, sorry. The reflective glasses have to go back on. If you guys missed the last vlog, then be sure to go back and watch that one because it was very eventful. And by eventful, I mean that a box of paint cans fell on my head and gave me a minor concussion. Mild concussion, minor concussion. And I've been kind of dealing with the side effects the past couple days. Honestly, today is so much better than yesterday. Yesterday was the first official day and I woke up and I was nauseous and I was just, my stomach wasn't doing well, had some situations going on. I also just like had a really bad headache, very light sensitive, all the things going on. Today is the next day though. And I'm feeling much, much better, but not a thousand percent better yet. I'd say out of a hundred, I'm like a 95 right now. Also today is Cal and my four year anniversary, which is so crazy because that went by so fast and I remember the first day ever that I introduced you guys to him. Or no, like the first day that he kind of made a cameo, but he wasn't really there was when we went to Disneyland. And I remember like vlogging in my apartment bathroom and being so nervous that he was gonna judge me for vlogging. And I mean, look at us now. Now I know he's the least judgmental person ever and he's the best. And we are celebrating four years today. And now he's so comfortable on camera and like loves you guys so much. And it's just awesome. So we had a big plan for our anniversary today. We had made a bunch of reservations to these restaurants that we've been dying to go to that are really hard to get. We were gonna go to the beach and have a full beach day. We were gonna go to the pier and ride the rides, but obviously being mildly concussed, uh, I know that it was probably better for me to stay home for the rest of today until I feel 100% better, which I think by tomorrow I will. And also Cal was very adamant. He was like, please, we can go to the pier and restaurants and the beach any day, but you really have to be careful. And the doctor did tell me also, if I have like another head incident in the next like week or so, that it would be really bad because obviously still lightly recovering from one. So all that to say, our anniversary did not go as planned and I am very sad about it because I feel like it's my fault. But we're gonna do a makeup anniversary day in a little bit, right babe? Right. <laughs> do you wanna come say hi to the people? No, give me one second. I hear him rummaging in the pantry. Anyways, right now I'm having some fruit and we're just taking it easy today. Having a little snacky of some fresh cherries and a white nectarine. Oh, this whole time also Daisy was hitting <laughs> <laughs> and yes, that is the update with me going on currently. I am on the road to being better. I think truly by tomorrow I'll be totally good. But for today, we are just hanging out, watching TV, gonna make some popcorn, watch some movies, and get after it tomorrow. I would like to apologize on camera for ruining our anniversary. No, we're fine. My head. We're just going to chill out. You know, we'll have it another day. Yes. Yeah. Stay tuned for that, you guys. But I love you. I love you too. Happy four years. Happy four years. Oh, I was going in for a high five. I love mm -hmm. you. Love you too. All right, guys. So that's what's going on. I'll keep updating you throughout today. We have, again, zero plans, but I'll tell you where the day takes us. Look what Cal's making for our movie. I've been really missing movie theater popcorn. Popcorn and the movie theater butter. Did a little avocado oil spray on mine with some nutritional yeast and salt. So good. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I am currently in the new office. If you guys missed the last vlog, go check that one out because I redid the office and it looks so much better in here. It's so light and bright and airy. The last thing that I'm waiting for is just a big photo to come for here, but good morning. It's the next morning. I'm feeling 100% better in the head, which is amazing. I'm a little stuffy from allergies, but I'm gonna take some Zyrtec and I'll be okay. But yes, good morning. I threw on this really cute workout top that I got from Abercrombie, obviously. I love their workout apparel. We're gonna get into the haul very soon, but how cute is this workout top? It's so comfy. And Cal and I are having an early morning Sunday workout so we can feel ready for the day. I came over to the office fridge to grab an energy drink. We have Alani New Tropical. I haven't had this one in so long, but I found it at Target. Cherry and pineapple are one of my favorite flavor combinations ever. If you haven't tried this one, it tastes like a big stick popsicle. Can't get over how cute this top is. And let's go.
Thank you, kind sir. Woo! We worked out! Yay! We're both wiped. And now we're gonna go home and make breakfast. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are home and we are going to make breakfast or rather brunch now. And I'm very excited because we got this griddle. So I'm gonna cook up some breakfast. I will say, if you're wondering, Remy, don't you guys already have a griddle on the stove? The answer is yes. And it works, but it just doesn't work well. So I got this one and I'm hoping that this will work better. And we're gonna make a delicious brunch together. So let's get this griddle hot and ready. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I feel like I'm camping. We're gonna plug it in and get it nice and ready. Whoa, this is cool. Okay, I'm gonna get it hot to like 350 or so and we're gonna do pancakes, bacon, and eggs. I for sure have eggs and pancake mix. I think I have bacon. We'll see what we have though. We got our Costco eggs, lots of eggs. And then I have this pancake mix that I'm gonna use. This is the Birch Benders gluten-free mix. And I found this in the pantry too. And I was like, how fun would it be to try and make them mochi pancakes? So I'm gonna add a little bit of sweet rice flour to them and see how that goes. Goes. But let's try. Okay, let me get my mixing bowl out. I think we'll start with the bacon because I want that to be nice and crispy. Well, actually, let me see if I have bacon. I've got some turkey bacon here. I'm gonna spray some oil down. I already cleaned this, by the way. How do you know when it's hot? It feels hot. Let's hear that sizzle. Ooh. Okay, at the same time, I'm gonna cook our eggs. Ooh. This already is heating much more evenly than my other one. All right, I'm gonna try a little over half a cup of the pancake mix and then maybe like an eighth of a cup of rice flour and a half a cup of water. All right, eggs are cooked. I took them off. I'm getting the bacon really, really, really crispy. Now I'm gonna cook up our pancakes over here. We have our mixture and it looks thicker. I put some mochi flour in mm. to make mochi pancakes. We'll see if it's good. I'm gonna use an ice cream scooper to make it nice and even. So one scoop and then just, ooh, that's perfect. You wanna do a bit? And then you can like, yeah, perfect. And then Cal is gonna do chocolate chip pancakes. He loves chocolate chip pancakes. He's doing dark chocolate chips and I am a blueberry pancake fan. So I'm gonna add in some frozen blueberries. Blueberries on mine. Bacon is crispalish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look mm -hmm. at that. Crispy. Ah! Oh no. It's okay. I think it's flip time. They didn't get as bubbly as they normally do, but it might be the Woo! Flour. Yeah. That looks pretty good. All right, we got breakfast pancakes. Bacon, eggs. I want to try this pancake on camera. I swear, guys, there were so many things before that I didn't not, I didn't necessarily not like them, but I just didn't really gravitate towards them. And I don't know, my palate has changed so much in the last year or so where I love them now, like jalapenos, white chocolate, just all those sorts of things, which are not bad by, by any means, but I just didn't love them before. Now I'm obsessed, like my palate has been changing. Also included in that is putting maple syrup on pancakes, which I know is like common, obviously, but I used to never do it and now I just do a little bit and I understand what all the people were talking about it Just took me 28 years, but let's give a little taste test. Are the pancakes good? Did you try? They're really chewy <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I wanted. I wanted like a mochi <laughs> Is it weird though? Um, I wasn't expecting it at first, but If you're going for mochi, you did it. Oh way too much mochi <laughs> Way too much mochi Hello guys, okay, I am back. I took a body shower, I did my makeup. I think it looks so cute. My hair is looking poofy and I just don't feel like styling it. So we're just gonna leave it like this, but hello. We are now coming at you guys from the glam room. I also cleaned this up because it was very messy and we are now going to do the haul of all the amazing pieces that Abercrombie sent me. I'm wearing some right now, I love them. I have so many amazing summer pieces to go through from like workout stuff to a little bit more dressy to casual stuff all across the board, things that I'm going to wear all the time as I already do with my Abercrombie pieces and let's just get into the haul. So I guess we'll start with the workout stuff. As you guys saw, I love the top that I wore this morning and Abercrombie was nice enough to send it to me in every color because I wear the one that I have all the time. So yes, I got the hot pink version. We also got the lavender purple version. We also got this little nude with the black piping. There were so many color options and they're so incredibly soft and stretchy and comfortable. You guys know I also wear workout clothes like all the time on a daily basis. So I wear them for workouts and also just like lounging. I also got this one here, which is the same shirt that I have, the nude one that I wear a lot. You guys have probably seen that, but in green. And what I love about this is it comes with a matching scrunchie so you can wear 
wear this in your hair, have a little matching fit. You guys know I love a matching hair accessory. So perfect for me. Okay, for casual pieces, I got this adorable white cropped tank top that I love. I think it's so flattering. It fits so well. It's really, really, really comfortable. I'm just wearing it with a normal bra underneath. And then as we all know, Abercrombie jeans are absolutely iconic. I'm just gonna back up and show you right now. Truly, their jeans are some of the best and these fit me so, so well. I think they're so cute. This is the, the 90s relaxed jean high rise. I think this shade of blue is absolutely perfect. They are so comfy. They're stretchy, but not too stretchy and tight, but not too tight. I love them. And they also fit my very short legs if you can see so these are perfect i got the short version but they have tons of different like inseam lengths which is great and their jeans are truly some of the best ever like these might be my new favorite pair of jeans and they fit me so well and i love them oh and then here's the tank top as you can see perfect little crop perfect length really comfortable i like the wide strap so it kind of covers like this part of my arm so good i also got these cute little t-shirts so 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 perfect for summer you can dress these up you can dress them down wear them with jeans wear them with a skirt whatever just like the perfect length also not too short, not too long. I think these look really nice and again are so easy to make them look fancier or more casual. As we all know, like tailored pants are very in and again, something that you can really dress up or make more casual. I was imagining these with the t-shirt and then maybe some like gold jewelry, some sandals, you can wear boots, whatever you want. You can wear them to like a business meeting or like out for dinner with the girls. I just think they are so perfect and so classy. And last but not least, it is summer and for me, summer means sundresses. So of course I had to get a few and again, Again, these are just so pretty. I had to get two in just different colors. They're the same, but different colors because I love pink and I love blue, as you guys know. And this is so beautiful. If you can see, the top is smocked, which I love a smocked top dress or shirt because for me, usually I don't have to wear a bra or do anything for my chest. And it's just really comfortable. I love these little frilly top. Ah! I love little straps and it just goes down to a perfect length sundress. It's so beautiful. I love the tears. <gasps> There's pockets. And it was so good. I also had to get the pink, which I just love these so much. And I will wear these all summer long. I think they're so pretty for like a nice dinner or just for like casual day at the beach or something. Absolutely gorgeous. And then last but not least, I fell in love with this little linen white sundress. It's a short one. I figured this was perfect for like a dinner on the beach or if you want to just wear this as like a cover up to the pool or something. Super cute, super pretty. I love the smocking and all of these pieces are so well made. I can't stress that enough. They're so good. I have pieces that have lasted me years and it's perfect for all summer long. Oh wait, I have one more thing I need to show you. I absolutely fell in love with these shoes. Okay, if you guys remember when I went to Italy, I didn't have any cute casual white shoes. So I kept wearing those ugly flip-flops everywhere, which wasn't horrible, but definitely like a fashion faux pas. I personally love a heel, but I don't have the strength or ability to wear them for a long time. So I thought this was perfect. It's like a cute little chunky kitten heel and they're just like really cute little sandals. They literally look like designer shoes, but they are from Abercrombie. So cute, so comfortable. I already put these on and then I love them so much. I got them in black too because these are really all I ever need now for all the summertime. Like these with the sundress, these with the jeans. Let's put it on with the jeans. Like how cute are they with the jeans? Oh, I love them. I also really need a pedicure. Seriously, you guys, this stuff is so cute. I can't wait to wear them all summer long and then into the future. Check them out at the link below. Thank you again to Abercrombie for sponsoring this video and let's get on with the vlog. Hi guys. Okay, update. I'm making lunch in the kitchen. I put on the purple top because it's so comfortable. And then I just threw on, these are old Abercrombie sweats that I've had for years now that I love. And I've decided to make a little shrimp bowl. So I'm thawing some shrimp that I just peeled in here. I'm cooking some Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. I'm gonna do some rice and stir fry this up and I'm hungry. So let's get cooking. Actually, I've already been cooking, but let's continue cooking. Okay, the Brussels sprouts. Ooh, okay, actually those look pretty good. I think I'm just gonna take them out like this and stir fry them up with some sauce. Cooked them up with some avocado oil and salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder for like seven minutes at 370. Looking fabulous. My shrimp are cooking up. They look nice and plump. I'm gonna add some of this Japanese barbecue sauce and let them get all nice and coated in that. That looks good. I can't decide. Should I add the Brussels sprouts in or should I keep them crispy? I think crispy. So I'll just put them on the side of the bowl. All right, lunch is served. We got the shrimp with some rice. I did the Brussels sprouts. I did coat them in a little bit of that extra sauce as well, but they look fabulous. I just used my microwave rice because I'm lazy. And then I've got my favorite panchan on the side, which is the seasoned radish. So good. 
I chopped it up into little pieces and then I've got my Korean spoon. I gotta get my Korean chopsticks and that is my lunch. Hello all, we ate our lunch, watched some Parks and Rec, just cleaned up the house, cleaned the kitchen. I'm now making myself a matcha latte because I am feeling the midday slump. We've got almond milk in here. I wanna try this hazelnut sugar-free syrup. <gasps> we have so many flies in the house because we had construction going on. So some people left the doors open as well as just in the summer, there's just more flies coming in because they are hot and looking for water, I believe. If anybody has any suggestions on what to do about the fly situation, please let us know. My aunt got me this syrup at Home Goods, $4.99. What a deal. Oh, it smells very hazelnutty. Yum. Okay, I already mixed up my matcha with some water. And I've got quite a bit of work to do today because when I was concussed, that put me back on my work schedule a bit. So we've got lots of editing to do today, lots of catching up to do. Ooh, that sure looks good. Give it a good mix. That's the perfect color. Oh my God, mmm, this tastes like I'm eating hazelnuts. I think I'm gonna do a little vanilla too. Hazelnut vanilla sounds good. Gonna add a splash of vanilla in. Might have put way too much syrup in these. Mmm, mmm, oh my God, that's perfect. Hazelnut vanilla matcha latte. All right, as I said, we have a lot of computer work to get to today. I also wanna organize a new office. Let's go, I'll show you guys the updates that we have. I turned around and Cal is wearing his shirt that he got from Abercrombie as well. Yeah. It's super comfy. I really like it. Super cute. Give us a little yeah. twirl. Yes. Very Camaro. Very soft t-shirt. Very nice. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I like it. Love it. Say thanks, Abercrombie. Thanks, Abercrombie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Okay, we are upstairs in the new office. If you missed the past couple vlogs, then you would not know that I have transformed the guest room into, or I'm in the middle of transforming the guest room into an office, but there's still a lot to be done. But so far, it's been so great. Here are the updates. We have, I'm just using a dining chair right now because my actual office chair is coming very soon. I cleaned out all of my Squishmallow collection because I had so many. And then I have this pile over here that I'm gonna bring to my mom's house because all of our dogs, all of our little dogs like sitting on Squishmallows. So she has extra now that she can put in her living room. This is a couch, obviously, but it's also a pullout bed. So before I had like a giant bed in here, which was great and very comfortable, but just not being utilized enough to take up the entire room. So we've got a pullout couch here. I'm still waiting for the pot to arrive, but it's so pretty. I was gonna do like a fiddle leaf fig like all my other rooms But I really have a vision for this room like very neutral very calming very zen and I felt as though the olive tree works better This wallpaper will be going as beautiful as it is It doesn't match my calm zen vibe that I want. We've got the rug. It's looking so good my desk Which I need to organize I have a standing desk and I have a treadmill So I walk on this while I'm editing and things and it's fantastic It's really easy to take calls and meetings and things we have these surfboards which I'm gonna put somewhere else in the house. All this wallpaper is going. This is also going. And Cal built me some new little drawers for storage in here. So I have a little area now where I can hold all of my office supplies and things. I need to get little bins to organize in there, but otherwise, those are the updates. I think in the next month, everything should be officially done. Also, don't mind all the laundry back there. I'm doing laundry. But yes, I'm going to clean up these drawers and I'll show you when I'm done. Hi guys. Okay, finished working. I'm with Cal. Hello. And we are going on a little dinner date now. Yeah. I guess this is our semi makeup of our anniversary dinner, <laughs> but the real one's coming soon. Let's get some food. Look how many little Henrys there are. Oh my gosh. They are so cute. There's so many of them. Dinner had a long wait, so we came over to Barnes and Noble to peruse while we wait. But bookstores are just so cute. I don't know where we're going. I'm just following him. <gasps> so cute, I love the kids section. Oh my goodness. Ah, for little Holden soon. Oh my God, Whoa. so cute. Whoa. Every, every pile of Legos have gotten so complex. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I loved Candyland. But this game made me the woman that I am today. And yes, I would make Shane play with me against as well. I loved Pretty Pretty Princess. Ah, do you know how you play? No. It's like a little like bin, like a little like jewelry box. And then, yeah, you play this and you get to just put jewelry on like piece by piece. <laughs> also, it says the classic 1990s game. Oh my God, I wonder how old this sweet little girl is now. She's probably my age. That's even more iconic than me holding the recorder on the front of that book. Insert photo here. In case you didn't know, I was a child model. This is the book that I'm currently reading and she is spicy. Round one, round two, round three, sweet shrimp, round four. Or we have a Toro tasting. Oh my God. And now after dinner, 
Ice cream. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for... Ice cream. <laughs> ice cream so good. These flavors look so good. They have salted licorice ice cream. Oh my god. Rosé. Oh my god. Everything bagel. Ooh, high five candy bar. Wait, that sounds really good. I got milkiest chocolate on a cone. Oh my god, it's so good. Hi guys. It's the next day. I'm coming on to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm about to head over to the gym. I put on this Abercrombie t-shirt that I cropped to wear. It's like a cute little gym shirt, which I love. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.